I'll look at this medical component. We're here on the Tornos Stand AMB 2024. Oliver, before we talk about the machine that made it and the fascinating demo you've got, um, what is the component and what challenges do manufacturers face making medical components like this? Yeah, of course. What you can see here is the head of a polyaxonal spine screw. It's a typical medical part. And actually, this is why we are here at the Tornos Swiss XT. It's a machine made for the medical industry. As you mentioned, we have very hard to produce materials. We have very complex shapes, milling shapes. Don't be confused by the color here. It's just a part of the thrust because we are doing it without the oil inside the machine just to show everyone here what we are able to do with this machine and how, that we can show how we can produce this part efficiently. And on the Tornoff stand here, the general uh, theme uh, has been medical components. Now, Tornos machines can be used for lots of different applications, but why medical and how does this Swiss XT32 machine apply itself so well to a component, component, a medical component just like this? Yeah, of course, if we came a little closer here to the machine, um, we can actually see like this part had a lot of milling features and so on. So you can see it's equipped on both channels. Both sides are equipped with milling equipment. But that's not all. These two channels can work inside the material simultaneously. So you can really cut down the cycle time of your parts with this one. You can do like we do these little uh, pockets or how they call Those two slots, so these two slots? Yes, exactly. And also these two features, well, I guess because they're symmetrical, you can halve the cycle time on those two feature operations because you can do them both at the same time. Definitely, definitely. And we can do it or we did it here with two slots. I think you can show it in the video. The other one, we didn't do it just to show it for the people here to see how this would work. But also these, you can do them simultaneously. You can do roughing, finishing in the same time. So it's really efficient with this. And the second part, because it's hard to manufacture material, we put in two exactly same powerful spindles on both sides, main side, counter side. Both have the same dimensions. You can go with the XT32 up to 32 millimeters, as the name suggests, but really on both sides. So really cool to produce yeah, more complex parts. Beautiful. Thank you, Oliver. So that's all about the, the specs of the machine, a strong spindle that can get through those difficult to cut materials and medical components as well. But I noticed that it's quite a large looking um, space inside. And so it's not just about the actual specs of the machine. And people generally with Tornos machines will imagine the Swiss Nano. Beautiful machine, but it's so tight. That you're trying to pack as much technology in a tiny space as possible. What makes um, this machine so easy to use for operators? Good to mention this one as well, because in medical especially, we don't have like the large batch sizes. So it must be very efficient to retool the machine, to set up a new part, to keep it going. And this is what we do, you know, you can see here, it's very easy. I can just step in basically inside the machine to really easily access. We all can almost both models. fit in, couldn't we? Yeah, we're we're trying to. <laughs> no, it's very I can set cool. that side, you can set that side. <laughs> we double the speed, you know, like the main gang. No, it's a, and you can do it for main and counter op spin, uh, operation. So there's more and more milling operations coming to the Swiss XT. This has been a 32 from Tornos. Make sure you check them out. If you've got uh, turning components, you need to make a big batch sizes, but turn components, you can do one hit as well with all the milling features you need.